Good morning, everyone. We have a new topic today. It's called average. This is mathematics. So what does it mean by average? If we have, for example, like uh, we have the like tests, things like that. If you have like five tests and uh, you got like your total score for each test, for those five tests, you will get the average by dividing the total score you got by the number of tests so that's how we get average so that that's what it means by average and what's this circle all about well this is called the average pi and these lines inside the pi inside the circle I should say this uh, horizontal line indicates division and the vertical line indicates multiplication so this uh, average pi, you call that on top, top portion, it is, that's the total. And then the left side, number of things. And on the right side, bottom, it's average. So these are, if you get the, uh, you get, to get the total, all you have to do is multiply both of these. That's why it's called the, the vertical bar indicates or signifies multiplication. You multiply both, you get the total. And... <clears throat> The horizontal bar indicates uh, division. So if you want to get the average, you get the total divided by the number of things. So that's how to interpret the, uh, the average pi. So now we have a, a word problem on the board. An application of this uh, average pi. So it runs this way. So Mark's average score on first eight algebra tests was 74, a failing grade. In order for him to pass his subject with an average score of 75, what will his average score be on his last two tests for the year? So we have those, uh, those numbers uh, given on here on the first eight uh, tests. He got 20, uh, 74 on the average. And, and here... In order for him to pass the uh, the algebra course or algebra subject, he needs to to have his score of seventy five average on the on the last uh, for the whole year in order for him to pass. And there are two more tests to take for the year. So now we we need to find the average score on these last two tests uh, in order for him to get the average score of seventy five, so he can he will pass the subject. Now, in order for us to visualize what's going on in this problem, we have to to illustrate the pi average uh, circle. We call that one for those instances. There are like three instances over here: the uh, the first test, the eight test, uh, illustrate uh, an average pi for that, and for the second test or the last two tests, we have to indicate another or illustrate another uh, average pi on that and a third uh, average pi to indicate the total of, uh, of all the exams. All right, let's do it. Now we have three circles over here, and now we have to indicate uh, which one got uh, its respective uh, contents and its uh, average pi. So now we have just uh, indicated those uh, average pi's. And we have now to put the contents on all on each pies. All right. So in the first eight tests, it says there the average score in the first eight tests in algebra was seventy four. If you go back to that uh, uh, average pie, we write down the uh, the average over here on this in the right uh, right bottom of the pie. So the average is 74, 74 right there. And for how many tests? Uh, that's eight number of tests. So that's eight. And on top of this, uh, should indicate the total, right? The total of all the tests. So let's indicate the total. Total scores for all the eight tests. On this, on the last two tests, it says there. That's we. We need to find the average score. We don't know the average. That's what we need to find out. So which uh, we should indicate that's as x as average. How many tests uh, 
that in the, in the last two tests, that's, that means uh, that's two, right? And we get a total over here also. And then the, for the whole year, it comprised how many tests right there? Comprised 10 tests, right? And what well, says the only problem? He he had to pass the uh, the subject, the algebra subject, by getting his uh, what average score? What the average score will be? So it says there on the given it's 75. So our our average here for the whole year must be 75 for him to pass. And so we get the total of year. So now to find x, the average on the on the last two tests, we need to find this total over here on the last two tests, right? How are we going to find the total of this? Well, it's very clear that if you add this up, you will add this to this total over here, right? So to get the total of this, so that means these three uh, average pies, these circles, if you add this up, it will be total to this, right? So how the principle applies to this? So get the total of this plus the total of this is goes the total here. And now to, in order for us to find the unknown x, we have to find the total of this so we can get the answer of the average here. Since we have, if we have two givers over here or if we have two items over here already found, we can find the value of x, right? Since we have put x right there, so let x be the average. Let x be the average score for the last two tests. Now we just put uh, indicate here, let's say this designate this total over here. It's total of eight first eight tests. So just put let's put eight over here. And this is two here. Let's put two. And this we just total for the year for YR. So this plus this equals this, right? So total for two for the last two tests is equal to total for the year minus total for the eight, right? For the first eight tests. Alright, so for the total of the year, we get that the, the total for the year is, if you take a look at this pie, if you cover that area right there, if you cover this area right here, and since the, uh, the horizontal line uh, indicates division and the vertical line indicates multiplication, or it signifies division, this division, and this is multiplication. If you cover your total right here, to find the total, all you have to do is multiply this both. That's what it means, right? But then if you, if you would like to get the average, cover that up, you have your total, considering you have your total, all you have to do is total divide by this, this uh, number of things right here. So that's the principle. So let's go back to our topic. This uh, so get the total for the year is that means see, we have to multiply this both right here. So ten times seventy five is minus, and the total for the first eight tests. What's that? Is multiply this again, right? The vertical line in the, uh, signifies multiplication. Eight times seventy four. So we get the total for this. So that is 158, right? That's for the total tests uh, for the last two last two tests on algebra. Now, since we found the total for this one right here, now we can find the value of x now, right? To, buy, to find the value of x, the average, all you have to do is cover that up. You have found this total divided by two, since there are two examples for this. Uh, for this part of the year. So total divided by 2. So let's do that. So x is equal to on the total on the last two, two tests, divided by 2. So okay, so what's that? So 158 divided by 2. So that's that 79, right? 79? Okay, so that should be our answer, 79. This should be the average score for the last two tests. So we found our answer. That's 79 on the average score for the last two tests for the year. So he passed the test by 
by having the average on the last two tests uh, at 79 sc uh, score on each two tests. All right. Thank you for following my lecture, guys. And if you think I help you in any way in enlightening how to solve an average problem like this by employing the uh, average pi, they call that one. And I would appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe button, and share. All right. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Rami Salamat po.